Hey guys, Zot here with another quick tip. In today's video, we're going to be discussing a popular concept that if you've PvP'd before, you probably would have heard of, and that's cycloning a target on low health, also known as a low clone. The concept of cloning a target low requires a very good overview of the game as a whole. You need to first ask yourself two things. First of all, would that target have died if I didn't clone him? If you're unsure of that, it's probably not a good cyclone. Secondly, is does this clone actually do anything for us? This could be anything from denying healing, to immune and defensive cooldowns, or even to get diminishing returns back. Now let's see a perfect example of this concept put into action from Method Black at this week's AWC Spring Cup, where Chaz's low clone onto the Chalky Milkmen's Gelubaba single-handedly won them the game. Then we're going to explore this more in depth and see how Chaz came to this conclusion. To see this, let's take a look from the team's point of view. This is the same situation here, but from the perspective of Waz. Gelubaba makes the mistake of ice blocking offensively, as he's fire, he only has one, so doesn't have another major defensive, so Method Black swap onto him, inside of a kidney shot, getting him incredibly low. Now, this here is the point where Chaz makes the decision to cyclone the target low. So let's break this down. First of all, would Gelubaba have died? Well, he's 14% life, he has Iron Bark as well as Fire Mage Barrier absorbing some damage, and on top of that still has Cauterize, as he doesn't have the debuff. And Gelu's Restoration Druid is in no crowd control, so he'll be able to freely begin topping Gelubaba even if Cauterize is popped here. Furthermore, Raikou is currently kicked, so he's going to be dealing no damage. This in conjunction with Waz having barely any energy, only two combo points and no vendetta up on the target means Gelu was never going to die in this situation, despite being so low. In fact, I don't even think they would have proc his cauterize here. The other question is, does the cyclone actually do anything for them? Could they keep Gelu low with damage and just crowd control through? Again, let's break it down more. Well, as we can see, Fnobus is on stun diminishing returns, meaning the chances of landing a casted crowd control such as Polymorph or Cyclone is going to be next to zero. As for instant crowd control, Waz doesn't have his blind, so they don't really have any chance of keeping Gelu low with crowd control here. However, if you look, Fnobbers will be off stun diminishing returns in five seconds, and Chaz has a bash in eight, which Fnobbers won't have a trinket for. So, Chaz cyclones Gelu Baba for six seconds, then does a half cyclone, buying him just enough time to bash Fnobbers as soon as it comes off cooldown then swapping the Cyclone to the enemy Druid. Despite the best efforts of the Chalky Milkmen, this play allows Waz to get his kidney shot back and finish off Gelubaba inside of a bomb, all thanks to the insane game awareness and foresight of Chaz and his low Cyclone. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this quick tip on Cyclone in targets low. Thanks for watching and be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed.